Hi everyone. So one of the biggest questions that comes up for me in parenting in a world of changing COVID phases is how are we supposed to manage consistency in a time of incredible change where the world has become so unpredictable? How do I have old rules that don't fit anymore, old routines that don't fit. And every time I create new rules, the situations change out from under me. So for the grown-ups, the carpet's getting pulled out from under you on a regular basis. How are you supposed to create predictability and safety for your child? Hmm. I think the answer is teach your child to surf. What do we know about surfing? Surfing requires skills. It requires a base of knowledge, experience, attitude in unpredictable situations because you don't know what the waves are gonna bring on any given day. The ocean is never the same one day to the next, one week to the next. And as new situations, new opportunities come up to challenge us. And I think the answer to the routines is it's the same surfboard. You get comfortable knowing that you are tethered to something that is going to keep you afloat no matter what. So that's the routines that I want you to choose are the ones that help your child feel like the uncertainty and the unpredictability anchors them in something predictable. My world is predictable. So for babies, that's kind of simple. It is responsiveness. It is attachment. It is when the baby feels hungry, confused, tired, out of sorts, going through developmental changes. The world is a loving, responsive, caring place that as babies grow and change, we figure out new ways to adapt to who they are and what that new stage is. We're here to help you with all of that, as is all the resources that are out there about developmental ages and stages. But for preschoolers and, and school age children, they have experience figuring out who they are, what the world is, and how to manage it. So the thing that I think of for your children is first, it all starts with validating who they are on the inside. Because if a child feels seen, heard, and acknowledged, then no matter what's going on outside, they know that there is predictability and groundedness within them. So it means accept your child exactly where they are and let them know that all feelings are acceptable and worthy and that we're here to help and support them through good times, bad times, and crazy times. The second thing is, it's the family, the routines that make your child feel connected to a family. So the cliche is family dinner times. Maybe you're cooking and eating together more, but maybe you have a nighttime swim together, or maybe you have a fun breakfast time, or maybe you have a regular bike ride. Maybe you have a regular story time. The routines are the ones that are custom made for you, your family, and your child. So don't be afraid of making something very original because that's what defines us and your child then knows they belong to something that will always have their back and always help them figure out the world together. And then the last thing is help them to know that they are tethered to something safe so that no matter what chaos is coming, am I going to school? Am I not going to school? What happened to my camp? That you know what? Things are different, but we, things are going to calm down. They're going to, to have a, a different routine. There's going to be safety even in whatever lies around that next corner. And maybe as you manage your own fear, anxiety, uncertainty, ambiguity, you start to be curious about, I don't know what it's gonna look like. Let's, put, let's start to imagine it and start to say, hmm, I wonder what it's gonna be like when we get to holidays, when we get to the next set of birthdays, when we get to um, getting to visit people, when we get to go back to school, so that you can play with scenarios in your brain which gives your child a sense of power and control. And as always, use your stories to support confidence, safety, familiarity. So are you, can you be consistent in an uncertain world? The consistency is in your presence and in who you are and letting your child know that um, you've got them and they are understood and loved. Take good care. It's crazy out there.